this video was sponsored by EA. What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Command and Conquer Rivals video. We are going to be diving into gameplay, continuing our journey and today's video is basically highlighting how fun this game is with the head-to-head -head competitive nature. This is EA's Redwood Studios real-time strategy game and basically there's a link down in the description if you want to get started playing this game. What we're going to do is go ahead and collect our free chest and hopefully be able to upgrade some of our cards. Then we'll get out and get into some gameplay. So the shockwave troopers, we certainly have enough. Why don't we quickly have a look and see? Yes, sir. We can indeed upgrade the shockwave troopers. Now these are very good at taking down other artillery and the heavier vehicles. So why don't we go ahead and upgrade that to level four. And I do like them alongside the missile squad as well. However, my strategy has been to try and get some of these heavier troops and vehicles onto the battlefield. So let's dive into it. And like we said, we're hopefully going to display some of the fun that strategy that you can play within this game. The matches are quick, 1v1 real-time strategy where you have complete control over the units throughout the match, which is necessary to win, guys. The controls as well are very intuitive. It's quite good how you can control your units. So we're first going to get a harvester in. That's going to help me produce troops faster and I think why don't we go ahead and get a couple of riflemen in there first I can see that he's taking control of that first pad we are going to go ahead and get the helipad in here as well why don't we move down to this platform I'll take some missile squads as well. Now, basically, that's going to stop the rocket launcher timer. You can see, though, that he has indeed pressed into that middle compartment. Now, I'm not really too fussed. My strategy, I let them get the first rocket. I just build up my energy and try and force the victory towards the end. So I'm going to let him think that he's doing okay here, probably even sacrificially give him the first rocket. That's actually what I'm going to do. So once he gets that, I will make a strong push, try and surprise him coming to that middle platform. That is the idea. So I'll have a helicopter here as well. He's going to fly that missile across. Then what we are going to do is basically try and head everything in there. So let's head across there now. And hopefully we can distract whatever's there. He only has some riflemen there. So why don't we send our missile squad up there as well. Alongside the riflemen, let's get the helicopters there. Get our missile squads here. Hopefully this is more than enough to take him down. This is looking good. We need the helicopter onto that. Actually, we'll just hold the helicopter here. Let's get the tech lab on here as well. So as you can see, yes, we sacrificially gave him the first rocket, but there's no way that he's going to basically take out. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. What we do need to do is we'll put this here just to protect our troops. We are going to get the second rocket. There's no sh question about that, guys. I'm actually going to send a tank once we have enough down to... Actually, I'm going to send it to reinforce this middle compartment because my tank there is about to go down and let's see let's send these down to the bottom to help out here let's send the tank there as well and basically i don't want to lose that middle compartment once my tank starts to go down which it's going to in a second i will then be good but i am trying my best let's put this here to distract I am trying my best to protect my rocket launchers. He's going to make a push now for me, but I have so much control in the middle of the map. I'm absolutely fine here. Once I take down this vehicle, I can maintain control of the center of the map. There we go. I'm actually going to send my missile squad up to the top. This is where the strategy really comes into play. You can see that I gave the first missile away, but I managed to stack up my energy and there is no way that this guy can beat me right now. There it goes. I actually just about got my heavier troops in, but it really didn't matter. I had complete control of the center of the map. That guy was snookered. I just had so much energy coming in. It was awesome. And that's what I like to do. Let's quickly, very quickly, just run through that so I can kind of talk it through a little bit easier. Then we'll get into another match. Hopefully that displayed, though, the strategy involved with the game. So, it's times to it. 
Let's times four it at the start, because I didn't really do anything. All I did was got my troops basically cooped up, ready to make that push. And you've got to be selective. If I were to just throw troops in there right now, I'm basically giving him the opportunity of picking that off. Let's slow it down now that he's got the first rocket. So once I get the tank, I get the helicopter, I've got the missile squad, I've then got a bit of variety within my push. I can press myself forward and as you can see my tank is doing just that it's tanking the damage for all of their missile squads meanwhile my missile squad is actually wiping them out then i've got my central position he has to push through my tank through my helicopter through my missile squad to get to the area at the back once i saw my tank was starting to go down i wanted to reinforce that with another now you could see that i kept popping the turrets up that basically just offers distraction nothing else because you can only spend your um, your energy basically so quick and that allows you that little bit of distraction for your tank and your higher damaged uh, vehicles to do a bit more damage and as you've seen I gave away the first missile but there was no way I was losing that match beautiful stuff let's move into another one guys hopefully Hopefully we can get two victories for you today, but again, really just wanted to highlight the fun and competitive nature within the game here as part of this Let's Play kind of beginner series we've been doing. And again, if you are interested in downloading it, link is in the description. Again, thank you to EA for sponsoring today's video. Let's get that harvester out there. That's going to allow us to be quicker in our deployment. Now, as you can see, he's actually already got troops into the middle there, so he's decided to push heavily into that, and often that can be a mistake. If someone's trying to push in there, I could probably very quickly get my troops in there as well. However, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just let him take that first missile. I'm going to build my troops up ready. Once I have a tank, a helicopter, I can make one solid push. Just press everything in to try and get to that area. Let's save up and get the helicopter. Then we will get the tank. The helicopter just means that if, for whatever reason, he starts to try and push to see whatever we've got, we've got a little bit more there to try and defend. So there they are. This guy, QQ Man, thinks that he's destroying me right now. He is probably sitting very happy. Uh, but once I get this tank, we'll press forward and I'm pretty confident that we should be good from there. So let's go for it, guys. Let's press this in, press this in, press this in and press this in. All he has is the rifleman there. So let's get the turret up. Let's do exactly the same look. Once we press in and take them down, let's move the helicopter forward, the tank forward, because we want them to absorb the fire of my missile squad. Tank goes down. Let's get my tank in. Let's get another tank into the center. And from this point, this guy has a mountain to climb because he has basically nothing here. I have my missile squad, as you can see, behind my tanks. They're not actually doing anything because my tanks can take this down so quick. Let's get the turret just to distract. Then what I'm going to do is send some riflemen or something down to this bottom platform. I might as well actually send in the tank in order to get that. But as you can see, I've got complete control here. I might as well save up for a tank and just put a tank down there so that if he tries to push with a couple of troops, I should be able to defend that as well. So he actually, as you can see, I've got complete control of the middle. The reason the rocket launcher wasn't timing up is because he has some troops just sitting at the bottom of the field there. Very silly move, just pressing troops in. Let's get another turret in to distract. And now, there's not really too much he can do. I have three tanks on the field, a helicopter, missile squad, which is literally sitting doing nothing. It's only if he starts to press far enough forward that my missile squad can do anything. He does have a vehicle which he's some reason going to push forward with. And yeah, there's not really... Let's press this to here so it can reach the vehicle. But I have two... Hundred Tiberium now in order to basically press whatever I want in so let's get the Titan in once that becomes available look 120 it is come on Come on. There it is. Let's get them forward and let's go crushing. Let's get this in to distract Wow, this guy doesn't stand a chance right now <laughs> I'm actually gonna push these and see if we can take that platform as well. Look at all of my troops guys Oh, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Again, that's how it's done. It's fun. 
It's challenging, it's strategic, and again, you might have seen the video I did with Echo. You can actually team up as well, verse your friends, and then that is when it becomes fun, is when you're actually battling with your friends and you're having a bit of a laugh as well, trying to take them down. That's the alliance I'm in, America's Most Wanted, that's Echo's alliance. Right, let's quickly skim over it before we wrap up the video. So again, similar strategy, and this is my strategy. There's a lot of different strategies. Let's slow it down while I discuss this real quick. For instance, you might notice, look, we've both put the Harvester up. That allows us to get the Tiberium quicker. That allows us to have more energy, get the troops onto the field. You can rush some troops straight across there. For example, if you have the other faction, you can use the Nod Bikes to blast across, try and get that down and get an early advantage. I'm playing the slow kind of passive of game here I let them have a rocket launcher sacrificially whilst I build up my troops but you have to press forward in time to do that guys you can't just send a couple of troops forward the reason it works look is I'm sending all of my troops together and they work in combination with each other so whilst the initial riflemen are taking fire the helicopters flying over and doing damage the tank is catching up then I get the tank in front of my missile squad because the missile squad do a lot of damage Damage, they will go down quick but you've got to have them tanked for so that's why my tanks in there and honestly copy my strategy if you wish because once you get control it's easy to defend when you struggle is if you can't quite push if they've managed to get some strong vehicles in you've got to have a plan to get around that but it's still the similar principles of distract and use the troops which are strong against the other troops that's what this is all about there we go first missile goes and from there it's an easy game I basically have everything I need in order to crush my opponent so that wraps it up for this video I hope you did enjoy it again thank you to EA for sponsoring today's video helps out the channel so much guys and if you are interested in joining and basically downloading Command and Conquer Rivals the link is down in the description but that wraps it up for this one until next time peace out